All right, guys, uh, right now we're going to be talking about uh, your sleeping system. Uh, this is an often overlooked portion of a 24-hour of a event. People think, you know, hey, I'm going to be a hard charger. I'm going to be going through this event the entire 24 hours. Sleep is for the week. Hey, all the power to you, man. I like to sleep, all right? If I'm going hard all day, maybe I might catch an hour or two rest uh, so that I'm more refreshed for the night portion uh, so that when the other team's sleeping, I'm out there making movements, all right? Um, this is just personally some stuff that, that I use. Uh, I use this USMC uh, sleeping system with a bivy sack. Um, this is rated uh, for hot weather on its own, but when you put a bivy sack over it, uh, it's going to change the temperature that, that you can comfortably sleep in. Um, this is designed to be worn with layers uh, against the skin. Um, when you're shopping for a sleeping bag, you want to look at the temperature that it's rated for. Uh, and it will tell you from the manufacturer if it's designed to be worn with layers or not. Um, a lot of your uh, store brand uh, sleeping systems are designed for very low temperature point, um, almost zero degrees. So you don't want to wear your uniform in the bag, all right? Because what's going to happen is you're going to be sweating. That sweat is going to create condensation in the bag, all right? Another mistake, people will zip their bag all the way up over their head and they'll breathe in the bag. That creates condensation in the bag, which is going to drastically drop your core body temperature, all right? You always want to keep a small opening so your breath can expel out of the bag. You know, do the research, find out if the bag that you're using, do you need base layers or can you, you know, sleep in there in just a t-shirt and underwear? Um, it's all personal preference. You want to get a bag that has a, a waterproof bivy sack or bivy cover. Uh, what this does is, if you find yourself in an inclement weather situation and your tent may not be waterproof, if water gets into your tent, this is going to keep water from getting into your bag because the bag itself is not waterproof. This also is going to keep you warmer. It's going to contain that body heat. Sleeping systems operate on the concept that heat comes from your body and it traps that heat to keep you warm. Uh, another great piece of gear that I highly suggest everybody get uh, is a poncho liner, or as I affectionately call it, the Wooby. Um, I don't know what this thing is made out of. All I know is it's awesome. Uh, you ask any military member their favorite piece of gear, they're probably going to tell you their poncho liner or their Wooby. Um, it keeps you warm and it's light as a feather. Uh, you can get these at uh, surplus Army Navy stores. Uh, if you have access to a military installation, uh, you might be able to get these at your, your PX. Uh, something like that. Uh, this is great because it complements the sleeping system. I like to wrap myself in it and then get inside my bag. Uh, you can also put it um, on the between the sleeping system and the bivy sack itself uh, to further insulate yourself from the ground. A lot of people, they go on these camping trips or they go to these Milsim events and they like to just sleep against the ground. Big no-go, all right? The ground is naturally cold, all right? It's going to it's going to be a lot colder than your body temperature. So what you want to do is you want to insulate yourself from the ground with a, with a mat. Um, back in the day, they used to give you, uh, you know, in the military, they give you these, these foam mats, these ISO mats, which is just a big thing of foam. Um, you don't have to, to, to suffer through that. You can go out and get an aftermarket uh, inflatable mattress if you're so inclined. Uh, me personally, I use a Thermarest. Um, it's a self-inflating thin mattress. Uh, what it does is I unroll it, I unscrew this, and air comes into it, and it inflates. Not only is that more comfortable sleeping on the ground, um, but it's going to insulate me from the ground so that I'm not shivering uh, in my bag. Um, I cannot stress enough, insulate yourself from the ground. Pine needles, tarps, something. You want to keep yourself off the ground or something between you and the ground as much as possible. You're going to be a lot more comfortable that way. You're going to contain body heat better, and you're going to wake up more refreshed if you do uh, find yourself sleeping during these events. At our events, uh, we like to keep it, you know, people are constantly moving, but if you find yourself in a rotation where your squad's down, you can catch some shut-eye, do so, all right? It doesn't make you look weak, all right? It's going to make you more combat effective on the back end because you're going to be more refreshed than the other team. Um, so this, this takes a very minimal amount of setup. Um, in the next segment, we'll talk about setting up uh, a tent and a campsite. Um, but I can get all this out of my pack and lay it out in about under five minutes. 
and that's more time for, for me to rest until the next mission. Yo, well on your market get set uh, Can't forget the go uh, In case you didn't know the flow is fat like Joe Like Joe, yo uh, Even they know that I'm back man You're whack man, I uh, eat a rapper like a Pac-Man uh, I figured you bring it uh, Straight from the cellar Pharrella uh, Pack it all, hits the loop I swallow Make it in his eye if he test me You don't impress me Your yo, books kick the rest G uh, uh, Time for your mind Hey yo, what up? The crew bringing the ruckus yeah. No doubt we's the roughest dream team Reign supreme like a cutlass getting done the flow, no, it's me, the nigga with G, the B, double O, K, S, so say yes, a bunch of caliber when I pop shit and rock shit like Metallica, yeah, yeah.